back everyone my name is patrick you're watching the fanatic rundown all of oil country are collectively catching their breath the edmonton oilers have defeated the vancouver canucks three to two here in game four tonight to tie the series two two it looked like heartbreak there for a few seconds the oilers had a two to nothing lead in this hockey game going into the third period Connor Garland makes it 2 to 1 at the 654 mark at 1819 with the goalie pulled Brock Besser ties it 2-2. Calvin Pickard gets the start tonight for the Edmonton Oilers. Head coach Chris Knobloch definitely made the right pick. He got the win tonight for the Edmonton Oilers and his parents were in the crowd, and you could just see the heartbreak in their faces when Brock Busser got that tying goal. And then the total elation when Evan Bouchard's blast at 1921 beats Shelofs, giving the Oilers the 3 to 2 lead. There will be no heartbreak tonight. The Oilers winning it 3 to 2 over the Vancouver Canucks. Calvin Pickard. In his first official start as a Stanley Cup playoff goaltender, gets his first Stanley Cup playoff win. He did play the third period of Game 3, faced three shots, I believe it was, three or four. Tonight, he faces 21 Vancouver shots, stops 19 of them, gave this team a chance. That's what the Oilers brought him in to do, and he does that so badly wanted to see him get the shutout tonight obviously going into the third period up to nothing oh just 20 more minutes guys just 20 more minutes get it done unfortunately as i mentioned connor garland broke pickard's shutout bid making it two to one and of course the canucks tying it there late but Still no knocks against Calvin Picker tonight. He came in and did, like I said, exactly what the Oilers needed him to do. He won them a hockey game. They've tied this series and are headed back to Vancouver for Game 5. If the Oilers had lost tonight, obviously they're down three games to one. Things are looking pretty bleak, especially heading back to Vancouver. But instead, the Oilers and Canucks are now locked into a best-of-three Two of the three possible games will be in Vancouver, so the Canucks will have home ice advantage for them. But if the Oilers can somehow find a way to knock off the Canucks in Game 5, they will have a chance to wrap up the series and eliminate the Canucks in Game 6 at home in Edmonton. So Game 5 goes Thursday, Game 6 Saturday. Let's see what happens. We're probably done this series by Saturday one way or another. You know, could go seven, so it might take till Monday, but we'll see what happens here. My prediction was Oilers in six. That has a chance to happen, so let's hope it does happen. Leon Dreisaitl on the power play opened the scoring for the Oilers tonight from Connor McDavid and Evan Bouchard. Ryan Nugent Hopkins in the second period. Goes in a two-on-one break with Connor McDavid. Rips a shot past Shelofs. Just a beauty from Nuge. Absolutely massive. Thought it was going to be the winning goal tonight, but <laughs> with the Canucks getting that late tying goal, it is still put the Oilers in a great position going into the third period. So two huge goals from Dreisaitl Nuge, and then Evan Bouchard with his fourth was the game winner tonight. Leon Dreisaitl and Evander Kane assisting on Evan Bouchard's game-winning goal there in the final minute. Evander Kane, when this game was still 2-1, to one, had a glorious opportunity, but Shelofs came up to close to the blue line to stop a breakaway for Evander Kane, knocking the puck away. That was something we could have been talking about if this game had gone bad. The Canucks had tied it and then possibly won it in overtime. We'd be looking back at that Evander Kane opportunity Thankfully, we don't need to do that, but Arter Shelofs, Calvin Pickard, both playing excellent tonight. The Edmonton Oilers finishing with 30 shots, so Shelofs with 27 saves on the night. He's definitely been the story of this series for the Vancouver Canucks, and great to see Calvin Pickard. Essentially, at the start of the season, Calvin Pickard was the Oilers' third-string goaltender, so... Two third-string goaltenders going up against each other tonight. I know Calvin Pickard 
eventually usurped Jack Campbell to become the backup for the Oilers this year. But at the start of the season, both of these guys were third string goaltenders for their team. So quite a story here, seeing them going head to head here in game four and obviously just so grateful, so relieved that Calvin Pickard can come in here and get the huge, massive victory for this team. I thought the Oilers played well. For the most part tonight, the Canucks have the slight edge in the face-off, 53.2% to the Oilers, 46.8%. The Oilers going 1-for-2 on the power play. The Canucks going 0-for-3. Back in the first period, Evander Kane took a four-minute high-sticking penalty, and the Canucks, I believe, had one shot on that four-minute power play. The Oilers have been dynamite on the penalty kill here in the postseason. The Canucks have gotten to them a little bit in this series, but tonight, three huge kills. Canucks going 0 for 3. The Canucks out hitting the Oilers 48 to 37. We know they're the more punishing team overall, but the Oilers still keeping it relatively close. The Oilers with 18 block shots to help out Calvin Pickard. The Canucks with 15. The Oilers with 12 giveaways. Definitely something to work on there. The Canucks with only four, so creating some opportunities that didn't need to be there with giveaways the Canucks with three takeaways to the Oilers six so the Oilers not playing a perfect hockey game by any stretch of the imagination once again going into the third period up two nothing you'd like to be able to hold on to that two nothing lead obviously they lost the four to one lead in game one there's been some blowing opportunities for this team in this series. No question about that. But thankfully, Evan Bouchard with the last-minute goal to give the Oilers a 3-2 lead and the 3-2 victory tonight. So they get the badly, badly needed victory. And this series is tied. And like I said, a best of three headed back to Vancouver for Game 5 on Thursday night. So... Let's see what happens here going forward, but congratulations to Calvin Pickard coming in, giving a gutsy performance. His parents in the crowd got to see the great win, so so happy for the entire Pickard family and obviously really happy for this team tonight. This was a gutsy win. They had to come in, get it done, and they got it done with a huge 3-2 to two victory. So I think that's all for me, guys, but if you're feeling celebratory, head on over to deflect.net. You can get great shirts like this for 20% off. Use the code FANATIC20 at checkout for that 20% off and uh, get yourself some great gear from deflect.net. But I'll wrap it up there for now, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the game in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers, Fanatic. Thanks for... Being a fan.